Hey everyone! So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about dry shampoo. And I have people ask me all the time like which one I recommend and all of that, but more so than that, this video I wanted to explain the importance of why you need it and what the actual purpose and all the ways you can use dry shampoo for. Alright, so let me just explain what I think most people assume that dry shampoo is for. So most people would assume that dry shampoo is for that lazy morning or that day that you have no time to shampoo your hair and you just put on some dry shampoo and it's like a faux shampoo that you know holds your hair for another extra day. So I that's definitely how I started to use dry shampoo and I have mentioned this before the way I like to use it is not when the hair is already oily and already greasy and then you put it on it's kind of going to be a weird goopy mess. So the way I like to apply dry shampoo and the way I like to use it on a daily basis to really get the most out of the product is to spray it on when the roots are clean. And I know it sounds almost counterintuitive and it's like your hair's clean and it smells great and you don't want to add anything to it. I promise you, you are going to love yourself for doing so the next day. And the reason for that is that the next day, it just, you're preventing that oil from starting as opposed to when you already have the oil there and then you're trying to add something powdery and it kind of just creates a big mess. So that is the best way that you can apply dry shampoo. And honestly, I like to shampoo my hair about every other day, but when I use a dry shampoo, I can easily go three to four days. Now since this video is obviously about prolonging that shampoo and that blowout, um, I'm not in any way saying that you guys should go three to four days. Um, I believe in a clean, healthy scalp. When the scalp is clean and healthy, you will have better growth of hair and you will have healthier hair. All right, and next is basically the two types of dry shampoos that there are. There is the very powdery, which I've mentioned before, and one of my favorite powdery ones is from the Dry Bar. And in my opinion, I think it smells great and it works absolutely great. And anytime that I've recommended it to a client or you know mentioned it on YouTube, a lot of you guys will say like, I loved everything about it except it was really powdery for me. So I think if you have really light blonde hair, you can definitely get away with the powdery. I feel like any other color definitely doesn't work. For brunettes, for redheads, um, people that have like caramel kind of highlights, people with like balayage, ombre, where the roots are like quite a bit darker, normally don't like that. So my favorite dry shampoo that does not leave a powdery kind of cast on the hair is the Isalon Without a Trace Dry Shampoo. So what you want a dry shampoo to do is to really absorb the oils and the impurities in the hair. So really leaving your hair clean. So it's not just masking it with something else, it's actually absorbing and taking away what you don't want. So if you imagine when you shampoo your hair, what you're doing is like you're trying to remove that oil, but then you have to blow out your hair and you have to heat style and you have to kind of get it that shape again. Well, imagine that you already have a shape that you love to your hair, but you know, you just want to kind of get rid of that oil. And that's what a great dry shampoo comes in for. It really is like you spray it on and it's invisible. It just sucks up the oil and that's it. And you're left with gorgeous, bouncy, clean hair. I'm sure you've all had like this gorgeous blow out that you're like, ah, oh, it's perfect. Like, don't move. I know that the next time I shampoo my hair, it's not going to be the same. That's when that dry shampoo is important and you know, you're just like locking in that style for you know, just a longer period of time. Now in another case where you need a dry shampoo, and this is something that I almost feel like is a prescription, is for anyone that has fashion fun colors in their hair, that has vibrant colors, for really, really bright pale blondes that get their hair toned and you know they feel that like washing their hair more and more just fades that color or fades that toner, you need a dry shampoo. And this is where I feel like I prescribe this to my clients at the salon for someone that's like, I love this toner, I don't want it to like wash off, I don't want this to start fading, like how many shampoos do I have left? When I see a client that's that concerned with their color, that's when I always say obviously use a color safe shampoo and conditioner absolutely that is first and foremost 
but along with that, use a dry shampoo. The less you shampoo your hair, the longer you can prolong that beautiful, gorgeous color. Another thing too is when clients are about to go on vacation and you know they have this fresh awesome color, I always tell them take an amazing dry shampoo with you. Not only will it save you like time blowing out and styling your hair because let's face it, you're on vacation, you wanna look great, but you also don't wanna spend tons of time just working on your hair. So it will save both your color and your style. So absolutely a can't live without when you are traveling. If you're a first time customer with East Salon, they always do that if you buy three products, you get them for $15, which is an amazing, amazing deal. All East Salon products smell absolutely amazing and they really are quality salon products. And as always, East Salon is so good to us and they give you 50% off on all products. So if you wanna try this out, you can try it for half off, which is absolutely an awesome, awesome deal. And as some of you guys may know, I will be at BeautyCon this year on July 9th. And since I will be down in LA for that, Isalon has invited me to their studios and do a live Facebook Q&A. So definitely get your questions ready and you can ask me then. I am so excited to be doing this. And I love it when they give me fun opportunities that I can engage with my audience. So definitely get ready to ask me some questions on there. Anyway, I would love to know who's going to BeautyCon this year. Please let me know. I will definitely be looking out for you guys. It's such a fun girly weekend. You know, take your best friend and you are just surrounded by makeup and fun girly products you get to try so much products you get so many free samples it's just a fun fun girly bonding experience so all right guys so I hope this video has taught you a little bit more about dry shampoo than you already knew and if you already have dry shampoo at home definitely go try these tips and tricks that I've mentioned today and hopefully it switches up your routine just a little bit and if you're someone that still has not tried a dry shampoo, definitely try the without a trace dry shampoo. It is so invisible. It's the absolute best one to start with. If you're kind of like, oh, I don't wanna make a big mess and you know, I really don't know where to start, it's an absolutely amazing product. You will absolutely fall in love. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I have to go to the dentist tomorrow and extract a tooth and I'm so not looking forward to it now.